Hi guys, my name is Hina Somani. I'm an image consultant and a fashion blogger. As an image consultant, we help people enhance their visual communication. Your image matters. What you wear reflects who you are, who you aspire to be. It often reflects your personality. Let's face it, people make judgments in matter of seconds. Did you know it takes 3 to 30 seconds to make first impression? Well, these may not be the last impression, but they are definitely lasting ones. A friend of mine told me a beautiful saying, you don't speak until you are heard. Be it a CEO, a celebrity, a student or a homemaker, we all benefit from a positive image. How I stay motivated? Honestly, I don't think I'm an advocate to inspire people by any means, but I've been getting a lot of questions about how I stay consistent and you know if I have any recommendations to stay inspired. So this is my take on it. Well, honestly, I live in Ahmedabad. It's a city where at least at this point, fashion is not appreciated by masses or I would say the crowd is not fashion forward, like I said again, in terms of masses. And uh, it is hard to stay inspired because you don't get to meet people in the industry that often or you don't get to interact with them as often. So all you have is your own determination and that's about it. In one of my trainings, a girl asked me, Hina, how do you stay inspired? And I was kind of confused about the question at first. And I gave her the answer at that point, I guess I'm passionate about what I do. Um, but then I don't know that somehow stuck with me and I came home and I reflected on that when I started my blog I was really energetic and I was very passionate I was posting about three times a week and then I suddenly hit rock bottom because it was just the starting and I got no response so I was posting maybe once in two months once in three months and I became so inconsistent and uh, then I realized as I was seeing other bloggers or I was seeing other people in the industry in image consulting or fashion, I realized consistency is the key to everything. It wasn't about posting once in two months. I was anyway not going to get a response as soon as my website goes live. It's an expectation you can't keep from your business or work. So this brings me to the point of persistence. When I realized that you have to be persistent towards your passion, is when my blog really improved. Instead of having unrealistic expectations like posting thrice a week, I came down to once a week. And that's how I made the decision of even starting my own channel. Once I thought I could be consistent, I did it. So I have a lot of friends who want career in a similar industry, be it fashion or as blogging or jewelry, want to have a boutique or have an e-commerce. One thing anybody will ask me, I always tell them, start if you're ready to be consistent because two days you're going to be motivated but the third day when you don't get the response you're going to shut down so you have to constantly remind yourself to be consistent so i was listening to this podcast it's called how i build this it has interviews from creators of instagram kate spade so i was listening to the one by kate spade and the creator said that they started earning in the fourth year of their business which means till four years they were just putting in their own money and investing and had so much persistence to let it go on. Yes, they were demotivated. Yes, they felt low about it. But then something pushed in them and they felt, no, this is going to pay off. Why? Because they were passionate about it. And I guess that's my answer to you guys also. I consciously remind myself every day to stay consistent and stay positive. And I think that's what has helped me provide content for you guys every week and be able to manage my image consulting, blogging, trainings and everything together. Now I make a conscious effort to be consistent. I remind myself every day that you have to be consistent. You have to stay patient to achieve what you want because if this truly is your passion, it's definitely going to pay sooner or later. Also, this is the key to being successful in social media. If you don't provide constant content, don't be surprised if people start moving on. Another point I wanted to talk about is everything is energy. I can make a whole separate video on this, um, but just to touch down on it, every person, everything around you has energies. That's why everybody says surround yourself with positive energy. I don't confine my vision to a certain city or a certain person or a certain family or a certain industry. If you have your vision broad, if you have your perspective broad, I think nothing is going to stop you and that should be motivation enough. In terms of what books or videos that I see to stay motivated, so whenever I'm feeling low, I try to listen to a book or a podcast or I watch a few videos. So my top three suggestions would be these. The first one would be a book called How to Awaken the Giant Within You by Anthony Robbins. 
so i heard this book on audible this has literally changed my life i can't stress enough if you just read this i think this is one recommendation you must and you must go and read if you're looking for some inspiration second one would be the podcast i mentioned i got to know about the podcast through mimi icon and uh, either i'll put a picture or in the description box the link for it third would be online videos the ones that i religiously follow are from jay shetty um he does a lot of motivational videos he goes live on facebook very often um he has some great content so these would be some practical things as of now that i do and i hope will help you also i hope that answers your question on how i try to stay motivated so if two things you have to take from this video is persistence and everything is energy so surround yourself with great energy thank you so much i am so glad you guys are with me on this journey and please subscribe to my channel and let me know what other requests you have and i'm going to see you guys next wednesday um it is how i stay motivated and i'm going to start so when i sat down and reflected oh god man um i don't know running